YouTubers, hope everybody is safe and well. Currently, I've uh, been asked to go and assess a bit of a tricky job by the looks of it. Um, a forklift has got stuck in a customer's property. A um, little bit slanted, hold the line. videos don't do this just as well steep it is I sure hope I don't meet another vehicle oh boy what a mess what an absolute mess three minutes from on scene Hello YouTubers, right, stop this again. So, uh, I have been asked to go and assist and attend a property pretty damn urgently to do an assessment of a specialist recovery, which is a forklift, which was carrying a generator to be delivered in somebody's back garden. It was on obviously proper tracks for obviously going down to drop the goods off. And then obviously they had a massive rainstorm and basically the, the, the mat got so slippy that the thing just slid and it is now sticking into a bit of a hedge, a little bit of a slant. Um, we've seen a few photos, had a few measurements, but until you get there, the thing can be a totally different story. So just going out at the minute just to assess it, not to do anything right now today, just to assess it, go back and get them a quotation to get this specialist recovery done and sorted. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Next part of the clip, I shall be on scene. Fantastic. Pictures never do justice. <laughs> Are you? All right. I'm coming to assess today. Assess what we can or can't not do. <laughs> mm, just shy of eight foot. Be about 91 inches. It's not very wide. No, I know they do say. Mm. Is actually between this curve yes. halfway up and that. Yeah. Nice. Well, and a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you don't like this. And across with about cheating 69 inches at a fine point. Yeah, it looks like you've had tyre marks on there. It goes down and it comes mm. out. To the yeah. Yes, you can see the timer, can't you? Yeah, did they get their vehicle up here, did they? There it is. I'm sorry, yeah, but, um, I mean their uh, Ford Ranger, did they have a Ford Ranger, I think, the chap did a 4x4 or something? I don't know. Oh, no, I think it was just this. <coughs> right. She ended up with it going down, reversing and reversing up here. Right, 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 right. Of course, I think the... Yeah. Hmm, okay, okay. And I'm assuming we've got to drop to next door's house on that side after, yeah, haven't we? Right with a hedge. And the house is not easy. No, no, that's okay. So we've got about a metre of hedge for the drop. But that's not level. No, so no, of course. Me, you'll mm -hmm. be able to see just yeah, how sudden it drops. Just how droppy it actually is in there. Yeah, I which see. Which is why when my husband was here, my husband said he's got to stop doing it because he's yeah, otherwise no, going no. to lose the whole thing. Yeah, down. of course. <laughs> okay. Hmm. And where is your? Oh, is this your generator here? Right. Well, at least it got in place. Yeah. My God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So. Hmm. Interesting. So we've still got. Well, the and thing is, something underneath it, you know, it needs to be yeah. Down. Well, some of this could go underneath. Oh, yeah, of there. course. So it's right, really, in the hedge as well. Yeah, I'm just trying to see where we've got a. They sometimes have like a shackle on the back we can attach a winch line to, uh, yeah. uh, but it doesn't seem to have one on that. Oh, does it have one at the bottom? With, um, right, um, 
Oh, I've got one on the bottom. Right, yeah. Yeah, not with them out there. Is that a BT line, is it? It's a BT line. Yeah. Uh, or possibly power. I don't know. They are a little power. bit thick. That one's a pound. This one's the uh, BT. And so that must be power too, because that gives power to the cottage. Sorry, of course. that's power. No problem. Now. Yeah, fingers, you can't really use anything uh, high ab wise when you're overhead. Plus, it's it, the word high ab or the word physical crane is probably going to be where it's at. Uh, but then, obviously, it's getting in touch with the board to temporarily cut the line to get anything remotely near because all we can try and do, still just trying to understand the process, but all we can do, we just need to bring that bum over. But the thing is, we haven't got any. Yeah, we've got a tree up there, but we can't put a strap around that. It's going to end up being on that building. But if we had like a nice, solid, big post here, then it's something we can anchor off. But And the thing with them machines, that's probably going to be about three to four ton in weight as well. So it it's really? not going to be uh, it really? yeah. playing ball a great deal. Obviously, it is rear steer. So the only other thing, if that wheel starts facing inwards, we might be able to then try and winch it a bit to bring it forward a bit. And then just a little bit of manoeuvring to get it out. But... It's just the sheer weight of these machines that makes them ever so horrible to work with. Um, the only good news is that the heaviest weight, it's all here on the back and in the middle. So it helps a little bit, yeah. Um, if we had the weight... It like ex-wife used, it could do with being up there and then you could yeah. in some way use that to lever the... Mm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, right. What? Hmm. I mean, the really... chap with the crane, Marcus said, got chains between all of this stuff. How he did that, he must have yeah. done it from the road, I wonder. Hmm. Because, uh, and then come over, I don't know, because he could never have done it from down there. No, I'm going to go down and have a look in this time. No, there's no trees in our favour here. The only other thing that we do have are what we call some ground spikes, which are like um, Ministry of Defence equipment that used to use to put in places where there's no trees to attach to or whatever and it's basically a bunch of spikes that go into the ground and pivot down on a big metal plate and then we can attach and try and bring okay. it that way so that's probably going to be really our only option okay without the uh, call for a big crane and cutting the power lines as such so i Frank, think do you want to speak to my husband because he was Hmm. Gonna be the only option I think is doing it with that. The other thing could we This post doesn't help you at all, that one. No, not the best. What's your number? It's 07, but it's getting a strong enough, small enough winching vehicle to get in that gap or near. And then we'll basically... Yeah, our spikes will sit there. We'll have a winch come from the bottom all the way up and then it will shoot off across to that. And that's all we really need. So my biggest... We've... Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, to just get rid... It's mainly... To... Yeah, even if we can just sit, no, no, even if we can get a reasonable sized vehicle to here would be a bonus, and then we can just use the line to do the rest. But that is um, easy through the gate. No, of course, because the other vehicle we've got is uh, twin winches on, so we can use both winch lines then to oh, fight as yes, well. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but obviously they're a big bit of kit, and as long as we can get near, and then using line extensions and just going from there, to be honest, that's all I can really say. Yeah. Hmm. 
we, we go down to the road here. Yes. If you turn right at the bottom there, there's a little gate, and that goes down, to, then the road is right there. But you see, you've got to come all the way over the road. Yeah, of course. No, no, you want to try and minimise the risk yeah, where possible, to be do. honest. It can go from a fairly straightforward-ish assignment to being into a big insurance job. Yeah, quite, quite. But yeah, it's just that type of machine is just very restricted and what we can do with it and where it is. Hmm, okay. That's it for now then. That's all I need. I'm going to report it all back to base and we'll go from okay, there. I mean, there's no squeak from him yet, but I promise you... No, that's all right. That's fine. So Whenever he's out of his meat, and just have to give a buzz. That's okay. Not just one more time. Any time today, I've got that phone on me 24 7 anyway. Um, the only thing that I think might be an issue mm. is the signal where he is. Yeah, yeah, that's he's okay. As well. But I'm wondering if, if he comes in yeah. to wherever he is, uh -huh. he might have WhatsApp then. Yeah, that's me. okay. So that's okay. Hopefully, it may not be quick, but he will get back to it's you. No great wish. I've got to feed it all he's back and then the liaise the with the people at the right. digger and the forklift. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a bit of a process just yet, I'm anyway. Sure. I'm so. sure, I'm sure. And a timeline, probably. How long will we It'll be. It's just. I know the RF 450 is assigned to a fair few jobs at the minute, so I'm probably going to be saying early next week, early. Okay. But okay. it will be as quick as we can by all means. Yeah, yeah. We'll it's just. We, get that. Don't get It's not available. The truck's available at the night time, but I don't want to do this job yeah. in the dark. It's well, just not worth the risk. Um, surely in the dry is better than Yeah, the drier the better, of course. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But we'll get there. We'll get there. No panic. We'll get there. It's all right. We'll be in contact soon. <laughs> Certainly, and get it done and out. Of course. I'm just wondering how he got his, his mugs. Well, did he come in a fair size lorry or something, well, I think did he? Must have done a mugs. It was amazing what they could do yeah, with the brain. Play. He said he got, you know. But Good heavens. Yeah. yeah, I don't even like the coming out. It's only a seven ton vehicle, but it's tight enough just coming down that bank. Right, um, as soon as he rings me, I'll just be back in contact and with the owners of the forklift and we'll get it sorted, so no panic. I just needed them measurements myself, that's all, and see you. So we, can you go that way? Will you be all right? Go um, you I'll reverse back, it'll be all right, yeah. Well I'll manage. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so that was the forklift in question. I don't know how these images are going to show. Probably just show it being on flat ground, easy peasy, but no. Very steep getting up the bank, and obviously where the forklift is, there is a massive drop right next to it. The only two options is either um, a platform, like a crane unit, or the other option is using ground spikes and snatch block it. I think that's going to be the preferred option by me and the customer, but the real big question is will the ground spikes held, held enough power in the ground to pull that probably three four ton machine also the winch line of what vehicle we're going to use on vehicles i do not know um, but hey let's see what happens and what we've got access to to get this job done and also if we can get somebody probably on the forklift and at least power it a bit forward to try and snatch it to pull it forward and out that would be even better but hey, let's see what happens and let's see what we can do. Stay tuned, thanks for watching.